Hi everyone, we were going to have a different article this week, uh, something a little more lighthearted, and it just didn't feel right. Um, I've been pretty broken up about Prince's death. That's a weird one for me because I wasn't the biggest Prince fan growing up. I don't have a long, deep connection with him. Um, my connection with Prince didn't really start until around the time that Musicology came out, and I was in my 20s. Uh, I should also mention that this video is not going to have the edits uh, that the others do, so you're going to see me mess up and you're going to have jump cuts. Like I was saying, I got into Prince around the time of Musicology, and uh, I had a good friend that you know shared a, a large uh, collection, like a well-curated collection too with me. It wasn't just like, here's some prints, it was, this is the stuff you should be listening to. And, um, you know, that's kind of where my love of prints started, but, you know, back in the day, I embarrassingly say, I didn't know the difference between, say, Little Red Corvette and Raspberry Beret. They were like the same song to me, right? They're about something red. So, when he died, it just it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. And I didn't quite know why. Teaching got very tough. Lessons on Thursday afternoon were very hard, and as well as teaching band on Friday uh, morning and day was tough. And um, my first lesson on Thursday, uh, at one point my student even said, why are you so lonely today? So what I'm here to talk about is how do we talk to our students about when somebody important to music dies? How do we talk about them and, and what's the, the important thing? Because there's lots of things we can say and it doesn't really matter to the student. It matters to us because we already know the artist. Things we could say about Prince. Um, he meant a lot to a lot of people. He wrote a lot of songs, a lot of hits. Uh, he was very popular. All of that in a way doesn't matter to the student because they don't have the same cultural situation. Uh, Prince would not be as culturally relevant to them. They don't know what it felt like to hear those tunes. They didn't get to hear the way he put songs together. To them, it was just an artist. And, you know, you could say, okay, we'll play them those tunes. And, and you could do that, and, and they may like them, but it's, again, it's missing that cultural relevance, it's missing that cultural touchstone that actually makes it important to them. You could talk about how good they were. I mean, Prince was a phenomenal songwriter, a phenomenal producer. It's funny, you know who you're talking to about Prince, or, or what that person is by what they say about Prince. Songwriters talk about what a good songwriter he was. You know, people that are really good performers talk about you know what his stage show was like. Guitar players, he was phenomenal. You know, a friend of mine brought up the uh, interview with Eric Clapton where someone asks him what it's like to be the best guitar player in the world. And he goes, I don't know, ask Prince, right? Prince was great for all these reasons, but I can't say that he's going to be important to students for any of these reasons. So we're left with, how do we make them important? I think this a statement like, he was like nothing else. Things were different after Prince did what he did. It's, it's easy to look back and say that something looks normal now after someone else did it. When someone does something and changes the way we think about music or any form of art, we have to look back and say, that person wasn't afraid to say who they were. That person took risks in a way that made them create art that lifted everyone. When you look at music before Prince, music after Prince, and the, the music that Prince influenced. Things were different after Prince. Prince changed the way we perceive art. And that's why he's important, because he wasn't afraid to say, I have these ideas and I think they're important. Maybe that doesn't make our students like Prince. I mean, for them to like Prince. Maybe that doesn't make our students go home and, you know, put controversy on repeat, you know, for 12 hours, which is something I would totally do. But it might make them, well, more like Prince in that if they know to be themselves is how they're going to create great art, then I think we've done way better than we could 
just by sharing Prince's music, which is something we should still do, but if we can equate the idea that being different is being positive to art, I think that's our job. So that's what I have to say about Prince. Uh, we are planning on doing a Groove of the Month. Um, we're too late in our production cycle to do it for May, but June will be a uh, Prince Groove of the Month. So please let us know what tunes you want to see there, and uh, we'll make our decision soon and, and get going with that. Um, I would love to hear your Prince stories. I would love to hear what you think about how to talk to students about why nursed is important. Um, please leave a comment below, send us a tweet, uh, musicians at musicians notes, um, Facebook, all those things. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.